guys, Jordy here from Premiere Basics, and today I'm gonna teach you a really cool effect that we saw on Feastable's Instagram, which is a brand from Mr. Beast, by the way. This guy right here made him look like a giant as he walked over a building. And you know what? A few weeks back, we actually did something similar, but we didn't actually step over the building. Well, that's for today. First of all, make a shot on a tripod of someone standing in front of a building at the spot where the talent is going to land. And make sure to shoot from a long distance so that there's enough headroom above the building. Then just walk forward and act like you're walking over that building. It's important to move your legs as high as possible to make the effect look real. Now when you're at the end position, try to stand with your legs a little bit apart from each other. That will make the editing process a lot easier. Also, don't forget to make an empty shot because we're gonna need that in the edit as well. All right, now that we have all of our shots, let's jump into Premiere Pro. Drop your clips into the timeline and make sure to put the empty shot on top of the other one. Next, you wanna select the empty shot and head over to the effects control then go to opacity. Click on the pen tool and draw a mask around the building. Do this as precisely as possible, especially at the spot where you are going to walk over the building. Head back to the effects controls and set the feather of the mask to zero because in our case, the building doesn't have to be feathered. And as you can see, Timon is already looking giant because he appears to be standing now behind the building and he's doing a weird dance. And now that we've created a mask, we need to animate it around Timon's legs. Move the playhead to the frame where his leg is going to appear in front of the building. Then click on the stopwatch icon next to the mask pads. Now go one frame forward and adjust your mask so that the leg becomes visible. Be careful not to accidentally show body parts that don't meet. Now guys, take your time, do it precise, look at the details, that way the effect is going to look so much better. Now so move to the right and again adjust your mask. Keep doing this until both legs are over the building. And now it already looks like he's walking over that building, but it doesn't look perfect just yet. There are some more tweaks that we need to do. But there's one more problem though, and that are the shadows. As you can see, the shadow is kind of hard because of the mask and it looks a bit unnatural. But to make that smoother, we're going to feather out that mask. Now, of course, we can't just feather the entire mask because then the building would feather too, and that would look awful. We're only going to feather the lower part of the mask by splitting it in two. So duplicate your video by holding down the Alt key and dragging it up by one track. Then find the crop effect and drop it on both your clips. Now in the first clip, set the bottom to 30%. Then select the other one and set the top value to 70%. This works for us because we need to feather out the bottom part, but for you, these values might be a little bit different. Next, increase the feather of that clip so that the harsh lines disappear. Now there's still one thing we need to fix and that is the shadow on the left side that jumps in too early. We can simply fix that by animating the opacity of the mask with some keyframes and that will make the shadow come in more smoothly. Now, if you wanna learn some more mask techniques. We actually made a video about that a while ago, so I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Also, have you seen our advanced editing class yet on Skillshare? This is full of awesome tips, tricks, and techniques that would really benefit your editing workflow. Thousands of students already took the class and are really happy with all the awesome editing techniques that they've learned. By the end of that class, you'll have a complete understanding of every editing tool of Adobe Premiere Pro. This eliminates technical challenges so that you can focus on the creative side of editing. And if you're new to Skillshare, you can actually get your first month completely completely for free by signing up using the link in the description down below. So go check that out, guys. First link down below. And now let's get back to Premiere and make the ground shake. Timon is a walking giant now, and that means that the ground has to shake with his footsteps. So first, we're gonna set some markers. Move to the first footstep and make sure there's no clip selected. Then press M on your keyboard. And as you can see, this created a marker. Oh, and by the way, you can also just double click on your marker and change the color of that, or perhaps add some notes to it. Now, do is for every step your talent takes. Next, select all of your clips, right click on them and select nest. We're doing this because we want to add an effect to both of the clips. Now to create the camera shake, we're going to use the transform effect because that way we can add motion blur to the shake. Find that effect in your effects library and drop it onto the nested sequence. Then head over to the effects controls and go to the transform effect. We're gonna scale up the clip by just a tiny bit, around 101%. That should be enough. This will give us space to animate the position and the rotation without seeing a black border. So next, move your playhead to the first marker that we created, then click on the stopwatch icon next to the position property. Now slightly adjust the position property frame by frame randomly to get the best results. The more keyframes you have at the end, the longer your shake effect will be present, so that is up to you. Also, make sure to set the last position keyframe back to the default values by clicking right here on the reset button. Next, go back to the beginning of your animation and set a keyframe for the rotation 
property. Move a few frames forward and rotate your video just a little bit. Make sure your video will stay inside of the frame. Again, move a few frames forward and do the same thing, but this time to the other side. And finally, set the rotation back to zero at the end of the shake. And there you have it, an earth shake effect. Now copy all of these keyframes and paste them on every marker that you have set on your clip. And if you want some variety in your earth shakes, you can always adjust the individual keyframes. Now to finish off the effect, increase the shutter angle to 180 degrees, which will introduce some natural motion blur. And now you know how to turn yourself into a giant and in the meantime, walk over a building. No, let me know in the comments, guys, if you're gonna try out this effect yourself, I would love to know. And don't forget to hit that like button if you learned something new today, because that really helps this channel grow with the YouTube algorithm and all that fancy stuff. So thank you so much for doing that. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left, which is a very nice tutorial as well. You definitely wanna check that one out, as well as clicking that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, because we're actually posting every single week. All right, guys, take care and goodbye.